Hope everybody is doing well. There is a vibrational shift that has occurred inside of me and I'd like to share it with you. The shift really is going to impact my personal friends, uh, family, people who, people who see me in my real life. You know, if you know me, you know that I like to hold people accountable to, you know, their mental health and to their fitness. I like to ask you, hey, are you working out? You know, are you eating well? Did you sleep? How's your mental health? Any person who's talked with me on the phone knows that I've asked them, how's your mental health? Literally, it's one of the main things I always ask. As a person who has always cared about health, always have cared about health, I will continue to do that. But I also will now start to ask people about their ideologies, beliefs, and practices. Uh, when it comes to humanity, essentially, because I need to know. I need to know who you are. I need to know exactly what you think and I need to know what you believe. I no longer can allow any superficial interactions um, in my personal life. Like, I need to know you. If you're a guy and you think it's you know okay to, to beat up your woman, I, I need to know that because that's not okay. You know, I won't allow any of my friends to be that way. You know, uh, personally, I have a kid and I don't believe in child abuse. I believe that if you're a great communicator, which I think I am, you can communicate with a child. I've done the studies and a child does not know the difference between a spanking, between abuse, it all feels the same to them. You know, if you read my book, Dear Soul, I think that was my third book, I talked about that. How I will not hit my child. So if you hit your children, that's something I need to know because that's something that we need to talk about. You know, if you are in group text message threads, and there are a bunch of racist jokes. If your parents make racist comments, these are things I wanna know and I'm gonna ask. And if you are my friend in real life, I'm gonna ask you. If you're white, I'm gonna ask you, how do your parents feel about black people? How do your friends talk about black people when, when they're not around? I'm going to ask you. I am at a space where I want to hold everyone accountable for who they are. I'm not seeking to force this on any of my friends either but i just personally have made a vibrational change i just want to know who you are that's it even the way you spend your money i want to know people in america are like oh you know don't ask people about money it's not right we need to talk about it if you got 80 percent of the country living check to check but then you have the president talking about the economy is so great i have questions so i want to know i want to talk do you have a budget do you have investments? Are you spending more than you make? I'm gonna ask you about money. So, you know, if you wanna be my friend moving forward, you need to be ready for the uh, that energy because we're gonna talk. I'm not gonna allow anyone to distract me uh, with conversations about movies. I love movies and I love basketball games, but I'm not gonna let you distract me. Before you text my phone and ask me, hey, let's go get drinks, let's do Sunday fun day. Don't text me that. Ask me how I'm doing. Ask me how my mental health is doing. And then we're gonna talk, we're gonna do some serious talking. We're gonna talk about violence. We're gonna talk about fighting. We're gonna talk about low vibrational energy. We're gonna talk about how we can transcend generational traumas that have been given to us. We're gonna talk about how we can be better as a people, as a human society. And if you're not, if you're not willing to meet me there, we cannot be friends. If you're not willing to start setting healthy boundaries with people who are doing toxic behaviors, we cannot be friends. If I come to your house and I don't smoke and I don't want to smell like cigarette smoke and I ask you kindly not to smoke and you cannot respect that, the relationship has now changed because we're setting healthy boundaries forever from here on out. If you're my friend and <laughs> you allow people to do racist things, to make racist remarks, and you don't check them, we can't be friends. If you're going to be my friend, you need to care about your health. You need to care about your mental health and your physical health. I'm holding you accountable, period. I'm not gonna let you slack. I'm not letting y'all come around me eating food that's not good for you. I'm gonna ask you about it. It's going to be uncomfortable for people to be my friend moving forward because I expect you to vibrate at your highest level. I do. I do. That's what I want. I want a society of people who operate at a, at a higher frequency. That is, that is what I want. So I've been asking myself, what can I do? Well, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my own network. Now, most of my friends are 
vibrating at a very high frequency. But I'm going to ask you about your life. If this feels like an intrusion or it's too much as a friend, that's OK. Set a healthy boundary with me and tell me when and where I'm overstepping so I can respect you as well. But if you're going to be my friend, I am letting you know I expect you to vibrate at a very high frequency. I'm holding myself to this and any person around me. I'm holding you to this as well. I will be back with another message when I figure out what is genuine for me to say. Until then. I hope you continue to free your energy.